What is a supplemental lecture? A supplemental lecture is a lecture that is separate from the information pro provided to you by my main lectures. The main lectures for each chapter, for the most part, follow the book. Uh, this is where questions will come from for your weekly chapter quizzes and your midterm and final exams. But supplemental lectures will be used to write essays for your midterm and final exam. So you have a main lecture, and we're talking about the chapter and, and you know typical typical lecture video. And then in the midst of that, I'll say, okay, let's stop here and do supplemental lecture number one. It's it's entitled whatever that title is. Uh, so it's separate from the main lecture. So what you what you'd want to do is take copious notes. Okay, I'm going to give you an outline. It's, it's part of the presentation. You'll have an outline of the lecture. And you can keep that. And you can you can use that and your notes to write your essays when the midterm and final exams come. Uh, so it's important that you that you separate these supplemental lecture notes from your main notes and keep your notes and outlines together. So when that time comes, you can use them both. So essentially, the outline is it'll get it's an outline of, of what I'm talking about, and you can pretty clearly see that I'm following it. So so that's what you're going to do when you write your essay is follow the outline and fill in the information with what you learned from the from the lecture itself. <clears throat> so what does supplemental mean? A supplemental is something that is provided in addition to what is already present or available to complete or enhance it. So what is already present and available is the main lecture. And so I'm trying to complete and enhance that by just going in a little bit different direction about a particular subject. So these are lectures developed by me. They could come from the book or perhaps from another source. So throughout our class, you will be given 16 of these throughout the entire class, eight before the midterm and eight before the final exam. Uh, these will be given to you randomly throughout the semester and are found in the main weekly lectures found in each, each week's module. There's not going to be a schedule. They're, they're random for a reason. You might have one, you might have two, three, or none each week. They, they're random. Uh, so a supplemental lecture is not, <clears throat> not really an assignment that you turn in. Uh, supplemental lectures become part of your midterm and final exam. Both exams, midterm and final, will require you to write three essays that will be chosen by you from a reduced list of six. So to clarify, the original eight lectures that I give you before each exam, uh, that list will be reduced to six choices when, the, when you open the exam. So I'm taking two away, and then you choose three from the remaining six. <clears throat> Your essay should be a review of what was presented in the lecture. So what is a review? A review is a formal assessment or examination of something. In this case, you will be writing a brief summary or general survey of my lecture. Do not add information that was not given to you in the lecture. So understand what I'm saying here. Using any kind of outside source, whether it's the internet, your book, another lecture of mine, uh, is is not allowed. You're you're only using the information given to you in that supplemental lecture. I'll say when we begin, and I'll say when we start. I'm sorry. Finish. Start and finish. Uh, nothing from any outside source should be brought in. That's not a review. A, a review is an overview of of a presentation that 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 you've seen. <clears throat> so to give you give you an example, um, let's say that you and a friend have a have a a, a similar interest in a hobby and and you love this hobby <clears throat> and you find out that the the person that's most associated with that hobby and knows the most about that hobby is coming to your town for a presentation and of course you and your friend can't wait to go <clears throat> you, you want to learn all there is about this hobby and you buy tickets so the day of the presentation your friend gets sick and can't go so your friend says please write down everything that, that this person says and then tell me you know what what they said so so I don't miss out on this so of course you you do that you go to the presentation you take notes and then you come back to to uh, you know share it with your friend now before you go see your friend you, you're not gonna go on the internet and find a whole lot of different information about that hobby and add it to what you're gonna tell your friend you wouldn't do that they he, uh, your friend doesn't care about what the internet says your friend cared about what the pres what the uh, presenter said so same thing here. You're, you're not going to go anywhere else and find information to, to add to it. So adding to this will, will get you a reduction in points, okay? Uh, your information for your essay should only come from the supplemental lecture, 
that is that's the only source there is okay uh, as I mentioned before you will be provided with an outline of the lecture prior to listening to it so part of the PowerPoint presentation is an outline so of course in a uh, you know you, you, you'd want to write that down or take a picture of it or whatever it might be so you can have that uh, when your um, exam comes familiarize yourself with the outline and then follow it as you take notes while you listen to the lecture and then again follow it as you write your review uh, if it's on the outline include it in your review to, to receive full credit if there's eight points on the outline you only talk about six then you're going to lose points for those two that you didn't talk about so does that mean if it's if it's not on the outline you don't have to talk about it well no you're, you're going to be bringing all that information in to write an essay about about this uh, subject <clears throat> Uh, information for this assignment will not be found on the internet. I, I have not posted this on the internet. Uh, yes, you'll find a lot of information about these subjects there, and it's all good information, but not as specifically given in the lecture. Uh, even if it's correct information, you will lose points based on you found your information from an outside source. A review does not add other sources of information to its content. Again, only use what I say in the lecture as your source to write your essay. Uh, when your exam comes, you will be allowed to use your lecture notes and outlines to write your essay. Uh, the Internet's prohibited for this assignment. Googling will not help you. These lectures have not been posted online. I'm not asking you to research these subjects. I'm asking you to write a review or an overview of what I said about these subjects. Uh, you know, in chronological order by following the outline. Uh, the, this information will not be found on the Internet. So follow the outline. When you look at your outline, you'll see that, the, that, that number one is introduction, and the last point on the outline is the relevance. So those two are very important. Anything in between the introduction and relevance are the main points. So when you write your, your uh, essay, you're going to write a brief introduction based on what I said in the introduction that's on the outline. Then you describe the main points of each subject, and you, you're, you're going to connect them all with your writing. Uh, and it could be, you know, it, it just depends on the on the uh, lecture itself, uh, you know, how many main points there are. But again, any anything in between the introduction and the relevance on your outline are the main points. So describe the main points of each subject in in simple detail, not in a long, you know, flowing, uh, uh, you know, dissertation that we're looking. It's, it's a review. You know, it, when you go to a to the movie theater and you watch a preview of a movie. You know, a two-hour movie, a, a preview might be three minutes. So the same thing here. You know, you're looking at a 15 or so minute lecture. Uh, don't write a 15 minute paper. Uh, it shouldn't be more than a few minutes. It, it, it's, a, it's a short, concise, simple to the point review. Uh, write your brief introduction. Just hit the main points of what I say in the introduction. And then each main point and connect them with your writing. And then state the relevance at the end of the um at the end of the, your essay. Uh, you'll have 85 minutes to complete the, these three essays, a typical uh, you know, class uh, uh, time. I'm not looking for a lengthy discourse. So understand that, that I'm not looking for five or six pages of, of, of a paper here. Uh, be simple, concise, to the point. An acceptable length for these essays, a review is about a page long, give or take, depending on your writing style. So I, I'm not looking for two or three pages. I'm looking for a simple, to the point review of the lecture. Uh, a long paper with too much detail is not a review and points will be taken off for papers with excessive details. So I would say places where people, students can go wrong is they jump right to the main point. So uh, as you'll see in, in all the outlines, the number one is introduction and I make a point about something. Make sure you include that, okay? Same thing with the relevance. State the relevance of the subject as given to you in the lecture at the end of the essay. And it, it is acceptable for you to write that word for word as I stated in the in the lecture. Not not anything else, not the rest of the essay, just the relevance. So I'm so so it's clear that you understand it and and have it and know it. So I will accept word for word for the relevance. If you want to put it in your own words, that's fine too, but make sure you cover all the points that are given to you in the relevance. So the introduction is always first. You you write about your main points next and you end the essays with your relevance. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so back to the, the size of the paper. Uh, not looking for long papers. In fact, a long paper with too much detail is not a review. And points will be taken off for papers with excessive detail. So again, get to the point. Uh, be simple, concise, and move on to the next point. Uh, be aware of the time limit and the instructions. So you have 85 minutes of a, a full class length. Uh, you have 85 minutes to write all three, okay? Uh, so, so understand, if you choose to write an essay with every detail that I said included, you will run out of time. What I'm trying to get you to do is, is find the main points and state those and, you know, skip over the, the minor details. Because, again, it's a review. You're not trying to, to retell the whole lecture. You're simply reviewing it for somebody to look at and say, yeah, maybe I'd like to go, go listen to that, okay? Uh, so... Uh, <clears throat> I understand if you're going to write write a real long essay, you can write out of time. If you're concise and to the point, you'll have plenty of time. It shouldn't take you more than 15, 20 minutes a piece to write these when, when you're given the outline and you have your notes. Okay. Uh, please write the assignment as an essay. Don't don't make a list. You know, have a list of of, of items or bullet points or fragmented sentences. It's an essay. You're, you're writing an essay. You're telling me a story. Uh, and of course, as always, please let me know if you have any further questions. Thank you.